European trains are a lot different than Asian yeah. trains. And cheaper. What's up, P Nation? Today we are taking a train from Sofia to Varna and traveling all the way across Bulgaria. It is about 9.15 now. Our train leaves at 10. It's gonna take us 15 minutes to get to the train station, so we have to go. <laughs> So we are at the bottom and we have to go to the train station, which is all the way at the top here. It'll take about 20 minutes. Always getting help from somebody. We made it on the train, we had to get some help. Yeah. We were like Right now. I'm not 100% the right train, even though we asked people and they're like, yes, this is going to Varna. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. This doesn't feel right. <laughs> if someone's in our seats, which would mean it might be the wrong train as well, I don't know. Welcome to our cabin. I don't know if this is where we're sitting, but we've just kind of taken over. So until someone tells us no, I think they sold all the tickets like in the same area because they were just like, go down the list, and then not all of them got sold. So we're going to try and have our own cabin. We'll see how this works. We're right on time, 10 o'clock. We're moving. Good thing we got here early. So we thought that it was going to take four hours. It turns out this train is going to take seven hours. So we have lots of time for our naps, for our Netflix, and for maybe doing some work. of the innocent. Is that what they told you in the papers? And you are innocent? Huh. <laughs> You're fun. More like, you did. Like, Every turn we're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's just gonna be better. It's so beautiful. Yeah. 
Okay, so it's about three hours into the train ride and we have like four hours left. We just decided we haven't talked about food a lot, like in Bulgaria. We're eating like snacks on the train, which we didn't think to bring, you know, but we had some left over. And it's like, we wouldn't have had any food because you can't like stop on the train. There is no dining car on this train. So we'd have been like out of luck if we didn't bring these snacks. So I was like thinking like, I haven't told you guys about the way we're living here, which is like, we're just buying cold soups and eating them <laughs> So we wanted to take you guys kind of on a tour of the train that we're on right now. I, I don't think there's anything that special to this train. It's got first class and second class. We chose second class accommodations. It comes with eight seats and a cabin, which I love that it's just a cabin in general. I thought it was just gonna be like, kind of like an airplane, you know, or like seats are lined up and you're all facing the same way. But there's cabins so you get like some kind of privacy, which is nice. But the first class has actually only six seats in a cabin and it's, they're much cleaner. <laughs> I don't think they get used as much. It's interesting because like we're, it's a Tuesday, in the middle of the day, we're on a train and there's not that many people, which I guess we should have kind of expected, but every other train we've ever been on, it was absolutely packed. Like no room, standing room only tickets being sold. So this is a lot different than what we're used to. So this is actually kind of nice. This is first class accommodation. The bathroom is terrible. But the, the seats themselves are actually really nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna give you a tour of our cabin. Zach has been sleeping for two hours now. He cannot hear me. So I thought this would be a perfect time to show you around. We've got empty seats, backpack, purse, neck pillow, room for luggage up top, which is like really, really nice. We have our own little window, baby shelf. The window was like going in and out and making a lot of noise, so Zach fashioned a nice little wad of toilet paper. Such an Eagle Scout. And this is Zach. maybe 20 stops and they're all so short like not even five minutes long and I was watching something on my phone and I realized like we had stopped for a really long time like 15 minutes and not so long ago we ran out of water and there was like a kiosk right outside the the window and it was selling water and I was like oh man I wish I had time to like get off and get it and then 15 minutes went by and we were still at the same station, I'm still like looking at this kiosk with water. So I finally get my money. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get off the train and go buy some water so that we have water so we're not like dying when we get to Varna. And as soon as I get my money and I'm like at the train door to get off, the whistle blows and the train started moving. Going. Which way? Uh, this way. Yeah. Those hallways look big, but they're so narrow. And it is 5.52, we made it. We didn't really know how long it was supposed to take us. No. We assumed it would be like 5 o'clock. So really it was only like two hours longer than taking a bus. <laughs> and then it was okay, you know. It was like having a Netflix day, to be honest, which is something we don't get to do. Something you would really enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I liked it. I didn't, I didn't mind that it was two hours long. So it's train fun. travel might be happening more in the future, <laughs> now that European trains are a lot different than Asian yeah. trains. And cheaper. Mm-hmm. 
All right, so apparently Google Maps and Apple Maps have not picked up public transportation here. So we are going to try and get on a bus and hope that someone speaks English. Number, this number, yeah? Yep. You made it. Okay, six. Yes. Ascensor of communism. Oh, really? It's so little. <laughs> from communism. This is a little from communism. Oh. <laughs> Nice. Like I know when I think of like Eastern Europeans, I don't necessarily think of like the most friendly people in the entire world, but that has been like the not the case. Like I don't know. We everyone we've met, all of our Airbnb people, that was the neighbor, that wasn't even the host. She was so nice. Like incredibly nice. Like I feel like I'm staying in my aunt's house right now, you know? Like, she just literally gave us an entire tour. She doesn't speak any English other than bye-bye. And she just showed us around, and I'm just like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Thank you, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. You know, and I, I'm just so happy right now. <laughs> Human interaction is amazing. With a balcony of a view of the Black Sea. It's right there, do you see it? It's right there, oh my gosh. We're so excited! Okay, now we're gonna go out and get some dinner. Which we haven't done yet. We haven't actually eaten out ever in Bulgaria. We've been here for ever. five days now. So, we'll see how this works. Can you? How are we doing? Test number one, please. I did. <gasps> stuck. Press it again. Hold on to it. Restaurant I've ever been in. It's like an entire block, and they're watching Anthony Bourdain. This is crazy. I read that the Shapska salad is traditional. It's pretty much like a Greek salad without feta, but it has like Bulgarian cheese on it. And I got what they call the Chicago salad. I don't know why. It's basically the same as Leah's with eggs and actual cheddar on it. <laughs> corn. And corn. So that meal was amazing. We are now headed to the grocery store, but we're not gonna show you that because I don't think you wanna see it. Maybe you do, <laughs> I don't know. If you do, tell me in the comment section below. But today was amazing. Leo was just telling me how she loved the train and wished it never stopped. I know, I really did. I didn't wanna get off. Yeah. You know, it was just so comfortable and you didn't have to think. I don't know, and it was like long. This was like a, like a long car ride. And like you're just like relaxing on your yeah. phone and you look up and the view is beautiful. Yeah. And maybe we'll great. take more trains in the future, or I maybe. Think that this is my favorite travel day we've ever had. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh. It's been really nice. Okay. Thanks for watching. <gasps> I can see you. In the reflection. Oh. Do I look like a ghost? Yeah.